Light. It travels through the vacuum of space at 300,000 km per second. But here is the weird part. It doesn't need anything to help it move. No air, no water, nothing. So how does light manage to travel through the emptiness of space? In the next few minutes, we're breaking down the science behind why light doesn't need a medium to travel. And trust me, the answer is mind-blowing. First things first, what exactly is light? We see it all the time, but it's more than just what our eyes pick up. Light is a form of energy that travels as an electromagnetic wave. Now, that sounds a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty simple when you break it down. Imagine light as a pair of invisible waves traveling together through space. One of those waves is made up of electric fields and the other is made up of magnetic fields. These fields are oscillating, which means they're constantly rising and falling, like waves in the ocean. But here's the really cool part. They don't need water, air or any material to move through. To help visualize this, let's compare it to ocean waves. When you see waves on the surface of the water, they're moving because the water itself is pushing them along. Without water, you wouldn't have any waves at all. Light is different. It's like having waves that can move without any water, sand or anything physical to carry them. They just keep going, powered by the interaction between the electric and magnetic fields. Okay, so what does this actually look like? Well, imagine the electric fields move up and down like the vertical part of a wave, while the magnetic fields move side to side. These two fields are perpendicular to each other, meaning they oscillate in different directions, but they are connected. The electric field generates the magnetic field, and the magnetic field generates the electric field, creating a kind of self-sustaining cycle that allows life to keep moving forward. Think of it like this. Imagine two people standing far apart, tossing a basketball back and forth. Every time person A throws the ball to person B, person B catches it and immediately throws it back. The ball keeps moving between them without needing anything else to help it along. Just the two people. In this analogy, the ball represents energy and the two people are like the electric and magnetic fields. They keep the energy moving between them and that's what keeps light traveling forward even through the emptiness of space because these fields don't need anything material to carry them. Light can travel through space where there is no air, no water, no solid objects, just a vacuum. This is why sunlight can travel all the way from the sun to the earth, even though space is mostly empty. In short, light is pretty special. It's an electromagnetic wave that can move on its own without needing a medium to support it, thanks to the way electric and magnetic fields interact and keep the energy flowing. To understand this better, let's compare it to sound. Sound waves are mechanical waves, which means they need something, like air, water or a solid object, to carry the vibrations from one place to another. Without a medium, sound just can't travel. That's why there's no sound in space. Unlike sound, light doesn't need to push particles around to travel. Instead, it's self-propagating. Those electric and magnetic fields are enough to keep it moving, even through a vacuum-like space. This is why sunlight can travel 93 million miles through the vacuum of space to reach us here on Earth. So how did scientists figure this out? Back in the 19th century, there was this idea that light needed a medium to travel through, and they called this hypothetical medium the ether. But an experiment in 1887 by two scientists, Michelson and Morley, showed that light travels at the same speed whether there is a medium or not. This debunked the ether theory and proved that light doesn't need any kind of material to move. Now, light doesn't slow down when it passes through materials like water or glass because it interacts with the particles in those substances. But in a vacuum, where there is no material at all, it travels at its fastest possible speed, about 300,000 km per second. One of the coolest things about light not needing a medium is that it allows us to see and study distant stars, galaxies, and even cosmic events that happened billions of years ago. Because light can travel through the vacuum of space, we can look deep into the universe 
and learn so much about it. Pretty amazing, right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.